Hey, I wanted to show you a new instrument I created. Um, it's based on the design of something called a Linstrument, which is a MIDI controller with a grid-based uh, set of touchpads. Um, <clears throat> I can't afford one, um, but I wanted one, and I wanted one that I could use for exploring other tunings um, besides, you know, 12 chromatic steps. Um, so I figured out a way to make this really pretty simply out of a piece of uh, conductive or resistive plastic called Velostat, which is about, you know, 12 inches on a side underneath all of this stuff. And before I talk forever, I'm just going to give you a demo uh, here. So, um, all these white tapes are the white pieces of tape with the white keys on a piano. Um, you can see that there's a bunch of spots that are not white. Um, I haven't put the black keys on yet, but that's because this is in 31 notes per octave. So the black keys <laughs> are split up into a bunch of different colors. And I'm, I'm actually still waiting for the stickers um, to, to use. So um, <clears throat> the way it's laid out is these are... We've got really small steps of about, what, uh, 50, 38, 39 cents, I think. So um, a half step is, th is this far apart. And a whole step is, uh, let's see. It's, yeah, so uh, one, two, three, four for a half step, and then, and then seven. For a whole step and then so you can get all sorts of different tunings with this um what i'm really excited about though is that this this is a really affordable way to make a midi controller that's friendly to that kind of music um like the the piece of velostat was maybe five bucks i spent a lot of time 3d printing all these little whoosie what's it's these are just little pads i was looking for a shape that um, would help me find my bearings, you know, um, so that I could maybe play without touching it. So it's a square with a circle on the top. Um, <clears throat> but I think that could be a lot simpler. Like, you could even use pennies, and this would cost $2.56 <laughs> um, to get that many pennies. Um, and then underneath I have, I have some sticky, or some squishy pads that I've 3D printed too, but you don't need those. You could probably use some sticky or some squishy foam type stuff. Anyway, so this was pretty easy to make once I learned how, and I want to make a video on how to do that at some point in the future. First, I have to iron out a few details, um, and I, these are all kind of stuck on with, like, double-sided tape, so I want to find a more permanent solution for that once I'm comfortable using glue. <laughs> this is not in the stage where, like, I want anything to be permanent just yet. <clears throat> anyway... So, let me see if I can find a cool chord. There's middle C. No. There's middle C. Um, there's a major third. So. Do, re, mi, do, mi. Do, re, mi, fa, so. So, there's major triad. Whoops, hang on. What did I do? <laughs> there we go. And then, so that's that's a familiar sound. It's a little more in tune um, with, you know, the perfect intervals than the normal scale is. So, um, so one of the cool things you can do is you can add the barbershop seventh to that chord. Um, so that's a that's a seventh chord. The seventh you're probably used to is this one. But that, uh, that's, uh, to make it more in tune with the, the physical harmonic that, that resonates better with the other notes. See? Um, and you can make that shape anywhere you want, so. I'm 
still learning my way around this darn thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and it's pressure sensitive. Um, it's more obviously pressure pressure sensitive down here. Hmm. And it's got polyphonic aftertouch controlling that, so I can. So each note can have its own um, pressure sensitivity. So the harder I push. Um, the more high frequencies will come through. Yeah. yeah, so it sounds pretty good for bass lines. Uh, and now I'm just noodling, but yeah, so we've got this is an octave in 31 notes per octave. So I can easily reach two octaves. Well, it's not super easy, but... But that's two octaves. Here's a fifth. So you can just move this shape around anywhere you want. carried away again um but it's really fun it's fun you can you can find all sorts of weird chords here's a sus4 chord and you can move that shape around anywhere you like it because it's just um or you could do this one Ooh, what's wrong with that So some of the challenges that I'm trying to figure out are, um, first of all, this top row, for whatever reason, um, it's it's kind of buggy, so I don't use it very much. I think it's because it's at the very end of the resistive plastic sheet, so um, I can get into that in another video. But I need to figure out how to make that better. I also would like it to be bigger, believe it or not, because if I want to play with 31 notes per octave, this is 256 pads, but really only covers about four octaves, I think. So here's the highest octave. So that's three octaves. And that note already also comes with... Wait, no. no. <laughs> so, yeah, a little less than four octaves, right? So it's a left. It's, there are a lot of notes per octave, and so I need a lot of pads <laughs> to make it really useful for both hands. Um, these are like tuned. This side of the instrument is tuned like maybe a fourth or yeah, a little less than a fifth lower. So it's split down the middle. I want to put a lot more bells and whistles on it, but the point of all this is that. I think that this is an approach that's really pretty cheap to make, um, not too expensive, not too complicated either. Like, I would say this is about 80% of where I would want an instrument to be. <clears throat> it's already, like, a really useful tool for playing around with different harmonies. Um, um, You can, you can just having all the notes right under your fingertips is really exciting because you can just try things. Oh, there's a pretty good tritone, but here's another one. Oh, that's kind of a flat tritone. There's a sharp tritone. And there's a flat perfect fifth. There's a perfect perfect fifth. Anyway, so there's all sorts of things you can just find and discover with your fingers and with your ears which is how I like to write music and that's how I like to play and learn um, and, and, um, for trying 
to work in other tuning systems like this one. Um, there's so much like uh, there's so much of a barrier because you can't get your hands on the notes with with most instruments. It's really hard. there aren't instruments that can really do this that don't cost like more than a thousand dollars, and then you're still having to deal with a bunch of technical stuff. So I'm hoping to make that a little easier to uh, for people to get their hands on. Um, so I hope to make more videos um, about how I made this. I'm not, like, a professional at this. I was able to grab enough information off of Roger Lin's website to understand how he sort of... He approached his instrument, which is beautiful, and I want one. Um, mine is simpler by far... And um, and it's made by a hobbyist. But um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> anyway, I want to share how I built this so maybe others can improve on um, how I approached it. Um, and I just I would really like more people to have their hands on these notes because they're, they're cool notes. So. Yeah, I could go on forever, but one of the other cool things about this layout is how all the notes... Here's Do, Re, Mi. Fa, So, La, Ti. Do, Re, Mi. So... And if you want to do that, that's a major scale, but if you want to do it in a different key, you do these same motions. Like, it's... There's a fancy word for that, but you just do the same shapes and you just move them over here. Oh, I ran out of notes. Anyway, um, but... Um, yeah, here's a minor scale, by the way. So all the shapes are, I think, isomorphic? I think that's the word. Um, and, you know, the same shapes are on your left hand that are on your right hand. So I've only... This instrument really, in this layout, has only existed for a week. Um, and I'm already able to play scales on it. I'm an awful piano player. I don't think I'm good at this either, but I can already get around really pretty easily. I know where the major chords are. I know where the minor chords are, and I, so I know all the minor chords because I just do this little triangle. Yeah, I mean, do better than that, but... <laughs> anyway, so... I think it's cool, and I want to share the idea. Hopefully other people can improve on it and... Um, get cool notes in the hands of more people.